This video will help you understand how do you make a box plot. How do you make a box plot in Minitab? Here you see I have data, the same data that I've been using for all the other exercises. Here I have production in kg. Here I have breakage percentage. This is the total breakage. So let's let's look at something. Let's let's say uh, column number C9, the total breakage. I would want to understand. I would want to understand and I would want to use the box plot. So I go to graph, go to box plot, simple. Choose the total breakage, which is C9. Press OK. Simple. When you touch this, it gives you Q1 standing at 9.71 median at 11.2, Q3 at 12.89, interquartile range at 3.13, whiskers, remember that whiskers, the lowest value in the whisker is your minimum and the highest value in your whisker is 16 point, uh, is, is your maximum, which in this case is 16.89, and N depicts the number of data points under observation. So you, you will here conclude that the total amount of breakage varies from 5.86, which is the minimum breakage, to a maximum breakage of 16.82, while the quarterly one stands at 9.71 kgs, with a median of 11.28, Q3 of 12.89, etc. If you see here, you have a lot of asterisks. These are outliers. If you want to add a target line on a box plot, go back to your edit dialog box. Here in the scale area, click scale and say reference line. Show reference line at the y-axis. Let's say my target was that I shouldn't, I, my breakage should never exceed, let's say a 10.0. Press OK and it will give you a target line. So anything above this is a defect, is not acceptable. I'm right click, I'll right click this, I'll, I'll go to edit the reference line and I'll color this in red. I'm, I'm, I'm an old schooler. For me, targets must be in a, in a different color. I hope uh, this simple exercise on how to conduct the box plot helps.